Thanks for tuning into our podcast. We love having you here, and it's our mission to bring you all the latest and greatest tips, skills, and know-how to make you the best that you can be. We know that you have it in you, and we're going to show you how. Now, now, let's get started. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Life of Great podcast, and this is your host, Fulfillment Obi. Today on the Life of Great podcast, I bring to you a concept and a theory that could change your life forever and help you set stage for your goals in 2024. Now, imagine the chicken raised to believe his owner loved it so much and came to believe his owner would never harm it because it is fed daily and cared for daily. But one shocking day, it saw itself in the slaughterhouse and his whole idea of safety and trust shattered and broke. For this chicken, this is called the black swan theory and we're going to explore these principles to his depth. So, let's dive right in. First, let's talk about what's black swan theory and how was it developed. At the time, black swans were presumed not to exist. All swans were presumed to be white because all historical records of swans show them with white feathers. The term black swan was thus used to describe any impossible event or circumstances. In, but in 1697, the Dutch explorer William de Vlimmer encountered swans with dark plumage in Australia, a land largely unexplored by the Europeans at the time. The black swan thus came to be a metaphor for the reality that just because something has not happened does not mean it cannot occur in the future. The metaphor is analogous to the fragility of any system of thought and a testament to the fallacy of assumption. A set of conclusions can be undone once its fundamental is proved false. In this case, the observation of a single black swan negated the long-held presumption about the species. Any logic that followed the assumption that swans must be white was also invalidated by the discovery. The theory was developed by Nashim Nicholas Taleb starting in 2001 to explain number one. The disproportionate role of high profile, how to predict, and rare events that are beyond the realm of normal expectation in history, science, finance, and technology. The non computability of the probability of consequential rare events using scientific method owing to the very nature of small probabilities. Number three is the psychological biases that blind people, both individually and collectively, to uncertainty and to the substantial role of rare events in historical affairs. Taleb's Black Swan theory, which differ from earlier philosophy, philosophical version of the problem refers to only the statistical unexpected event of large magnitude and consequences and their dominant role in history. Such events considered extreme outliers collectively play vast larger roles than regular occurrence. More technically, in the scientific monograph Silent Tricks, Taleb mathematically defined the black swan problem as stemming from the use of degenerate metaprobability. Taleb described black swan event as having three attributes. Number one, it is an outlier. It is so rare that even the possibility that the event might occur is unknown. Number two, it has an extreme impact when it occurs. Number three, in spite of its outlier status, explanations are created for it after the fact, making it predictable in the future. Such events can be classified as positive, as in the case of the sharp price of the internet, or negative, as in the subprime mortgage crisis in 2007 to 2008. Once such seemingly unpredictable event occur, they tend to get absorbed into the common body of knowledge so it is rare that they repeat. For example, the aforementioned financial crisis had an impact on the financial market across the globe, but financial control put in place in its wake make the chance of similar events happening again very low. In stock markets, black swan events are described as market crashes that exceed six standard deviations. Indeed, most financial markets tend to widely use normal distribution model or the bear curve to model data. This treats outliers as rare cases to be ignored in modeling. 
Black Swan logic, on the other hand, suggests that these outliers are what need to be studied more closely. So now we're going to go straight to the point. Let's talk about how we can use the Black Swan theory to your advantage, preparing for unexpected and unseen outcomes. Number one, dealing with your biases. Human tend to search for evidence based on already formed beliefs, a fallacy called confirmation bias. All evidence that contradicts those biases tend to be ignored. This can lead to an inaccurate assessment of risks involved in what humans do, leaving the door open for a potential black swan event. Black swan logic does make what is not known more relevant than what is known. Consider the case of a turkey that has been fed daily since birth. Being killed to provide a Thanksgiving dinner would be a black swan event for that turkey, but such is not the case for the butcher who does the killing. The theory of black swan logic calls on people to gather as much information about the world as possible to train themselves to review the information rigorously and to be aware of their biases. Number two, understand the principle of adaptability. Adaptability is the key to dealing with black swan events. The key is not to predict black swan events, but to build a fortitude and a mental resilience against it so that you can quickly make the necessary changes that are expected to limit the negative impact of those events. One of the ways to do this is to structure your goals in such a way that include extreme circumstances that may go wrong without your control and plan for countermeasures that will help you minimize the loss when such events strikes. To learn more about adaptability and how you can make use of it in your daily life your business finance and relationship please go over to my my publication page and read on the article i've just written about adaptability it contains all the necessary information that you need to help you understand how you can maximize adaptability in your daily life so this is where we're going to end for today we'll continue on this topic next time if you have any question regarding this topic please drop a comment go over to my publication page movement.obita.substack.com and leave a comment and we'll get to you speedily or you can send us a mail or a free link and information you need about this podcast episode or the life of great podcast will be made available in the description of this podcast and i would love you to join my private community in my private community you will learn you'll grow you'll be empowered we test ideas and put our head together to see how we can do things that could change the world and change the future so if you have a great idea a great plan if you want to be somebody who can change the future change your environment and make an impact in the world please join my private community that will be the best decision you've made this year and you to prepare you for future greatness and for everything you've ever dreamed of if you're listening to this podcast from youtube or you're listening at any other player please click the subscribe button and follow this podcast or you can head over to itunes and give us a five-star review so we can continue to grow use the black swan theory to understand how the world works so that you don't fall into situation or circumstances that will be too difficult for you to pull yourself out from understanding this will give you an unfair advantage in life so till next time, stay blessed, stay empowered, and I'll catch you in the next episode.